you know, there's a heritage and a history of working in big industry here in Seaside. So you've got this this resource, which is generations of people who, who, who understand what it is to work in big industry, high tech industry. How do you take the, the younger people and some of the older people who need retrain, how do you take them and, and turn them into people that can then work in the industry of the future here in Teesside? Well obviously <laughs> you do it by involving the industry and the education very tightly and very closely. And that's what you see here, so, so I was impressed that when you look at the kit that's here, the equipment is the equipment that is used by the industries that want those skills. So those ideas, that you don't just have a load of sort of educationalists who dream up what a college or a higher education facility should look like. You, you actually ask the people that need those skilled workers. That is central and that's a very, very good idea. And it is a blueprint for what we should be doing in many regions across the country. So without further ado, I'm going to introduce Professor Brian Cox. It's, a, it's a, a pleasure to be here. When, when I was asked to do a master class, I thought it was going to be in a, a classroom. Um, so this is a, a, a large audience. Science, it can be about many things. I've talked about fundamental physics here, and I've talked about two examples that I find very interesting, which are uh, areas in which you think about something, you do a bit of maths, you make a prediction, and it predicts something remarkable that we then discover to be true. That's fundamental physics. There are also fundamental questions in biology. We're beginning to approach ideas about the origin of life on Earth four billion years ago. What could it have been that started life? On Earth. How does a dead planet become a living planet? Uh, we're beginning to be able to ask questions about the structure of materials. Uh, how can you build stronger materials that build lighter aircraft? You'll see in the STEM that you've got industrial applications of advanced thinking, technologies and science. I think there's always something in it for everyone, whatever you're interested in. But the power, I think the power of this approach of looking at the world, of saying, well, we're going to follow our ideas through, make predictions and check them against reality, is quite remarkable. And I hope that many of you, if you're interested in sciences or whatever persuasion, some of you at least decide to go on to start answering more fundamental questions about the universe. Thank you.